Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Welcome back. One Kansas man's military experience includes coming under fire in Vietnam and training pilots. Well, now he helps other veterans deal with their experiences while in uniform. KSN's Hannah Adamson has his story in tonight's Veteran Salute. Jack Henderson served two tours in Vietnam. Many of his experiences from that time he doesn't open up about, and he says most veterans don't. But now he's working to change that, finding a unique way to do so as he fights a battle from within. So basically you did without that and you just uh, lived to survive another day with your brothers. Jack Henderson joined the Army in 1967 at the age of 18, following in his brother's footsteps. My brother had been in 65 and 66, and he had been to Vietnam with the 9th Division. Division. Yeah, he said, don't go. <laughs> After training at Fort Leonard Wood and Fort Eustis, Virginia, Henderson headed into what would become the bloodiest year of the Vietnam War. And then the first night we got there, it was really, really scary. I, I never took my clothes off. I just laid on the bunk and, and flares were coming down and I was kind of, then the sirens went off. And Henderson working guard duty and as an airframe repairman, later becoming a part-time gunner. The chance of getting shot at, you always had that and sometimes you would and you never did. That's me. After Vietnam, Henderson yeah, served as a flight engineer and platoon sergeant for the 190th in Olathe. It was just a, a lot of responsibility becoming a, instead of taking care of one aircraft, you had to take care of 35 guys. Henderson later left the 190th to become an aircraft instructor for the Army Reserves. It promoted me to W-2 and kicked me out of the active reserves because I was in an officer slot. I didn't do much then and then I, a colonel got a hold of me about getting back in reserves and teaching Salina Guard helicopters. Teaching classes across Kansas and Missouri. At the same time, going active duty to become an aircraft maintenance officer, a role which eventually would help him land a job, tending to Air Force One. When Bush was in, I believe, President Bush. Senior or? Senior, because he wrote, he wrote us a, a letter back. We sent a letter and stuck it in the desk in the Air Force One. So. Then he wrote one back. Henderson retired from Boeing in 2002, yet despite an illustrious military career spanning nearly three decades, Henderson says his service is far from over. One of my goals is still work with a lot of the vets, no matter what service, what war, what conflict. Heading to the VA every Friday, helping veterans just like him, suffering from the effects of Agent Orange. I got a good friend, I worked with his case, I think he was 30%. So we worked on his eight and a half years for him. He finally got his back pay. One chance encounter with another veteran would change how he dealt with his own trauma forever. There's a veteran that uh, was at a rehab center when I found out about him. And he kind of wanted to talk, but he didn't want to talk. So I went in to see him and his wife w walked out. He's, anyway, I heard he was Air Force and she shut the door and he looked at me and he started crying. And I said, man, what are you crying about? He said, I've never told anybody other than Vietnam. The encounter inspiring him to write a poem. Coming home to anger and protesting America people in my hometown, who am I? That's the first poem I wrote. And I wrote it on a napkin, I still got the napkin. One poem turning into many. I write poems that just pop out at me. I don't sit down and do it. I'm most of the time driving. I'm your mailman, your policeman. Your neighbor, who am I? I am the American soldier who hides my inner pain and feelings. Who am I? I am the hidden veteran, the Vietnam veteran. Words of healing, honoring those who gave so much and continue to fight in silence to this day. I guess I'm just an old patriot because I'm still serving. Henderson says his daughter receives a copy of every poem he writes. He says she's now pressing him to compile each of his poems into a book, something he says he is considering someday in the future. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize Chief Foreign Officer Jack Henderson, who served two tours in Vietnam and then also 29 years in the Army Reserves. Thank you for your service. Thank you for this uh, honor, and uh, I'm going to use the money to pass on to other veterans. Thanks again. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.